Hey, it's Gimme Gentleman Gun and welcome to Minecraft. This is part my little farm, but it's missing something very important. Power. So, not much further ado, let's get to today's gender. Agenda, rather. So I have these rather nice tanks. Ouch. One filled with sewage, because obviously I'm in a village, so... Um, I found quite a lot of this stuff. Quite a lot. Also, I tried out a small design for infinite water, which turned out to work quite well. I now have a full tank of water, and it's still pumping for no reason at all. But that's just for convenience. I also have a ton of lava. Another little project that I put up in the nether using this ender chest. I still have quite a lot of lava to pump in, but I uh, haven't got the setup right now. And this last tank is going to be used for oil. And oil can be pr pretty uh, pretty good. It can be. And sometimes if you don't know how to use a combustion engine, it will fuck up all your shit. But I'm going to be using oil at a later date. So I thought to myself, why not just stock some? And it turned out that oil in this is rare as fuck. I found six of the magical pools of Ars Magica, which you can see over here by my essence crops. I found six of these, of this size even. It's ridiculous compared to the amount of oil I found. But I can't really get the oil just yet. First off, what I'm gonna need is a way of transporting God damn it, a lot of oil out on me. And the best way I found was to use the tanks. The best tanks for this I found was the fluid tanks. Not the worst to make. Pretty easy, we gotta be honest. Just some glass. There we go. Glass and some wood. And just some copper around it. Bloody easy for the amount of freaking fluid they can hold. So, let me just dig through all my stuff here. Let's see how many I'm gonna take. I don't know, but I'll just take a bunch. Of course, I can't see a bloody thing. There we go. Because of my UI, which I've got. But what am I missing? I'm missing glass. Do I have any glass? No, I have two sand. So, I will be right back with some glass. Right, so I got some sand and glass now. There we go. But how many am I going to need of these? Hmm. It's probably going to be a lot. Because when I moved the sewage, I could easily be filled by just a few, um, how should I put it, a few pipefuls of about seven pipes. That seems ridiculous, in my opinion, but seeing how much sewage I have in the tank right now, which is about, or was it ten times these tanks? I'm guessing I'm going to be needing 15 tanks or so, judging from what I've seen in the past. But I'm just going to build 14 for convenience. Which should match quite awfully with the ingots I have. On, there we go. Calculation error. There we go. And then fill in the rest. And boom. 14. There we go. Now I have the tanks. Good. That is just one of the steps. One of the easiest steps even. So... Oh, I hit it. There we go. So what I'm gonna need next is... Yeah, what am I gonna need, need next? I'm gonna need a pump to pump up the oil. I think the best pump for this, because I have a lot of experience with it, is gonna be the build craft one. Also because it's really easy and cheap to make. Just some iron and sticks. Let's just use this directly and some iron. I already have some. Yeah. Oh well. Oops. There we go. I needed one cock, didn't I? So I made too many sticks. Oh well. So that's that. I need some cobblestone. I believe I have tons of that. Yep. Do. Surround it with cobblestone and then surround it by iron. Boom. That's an iron gear. Oh, wait, no, I needed more sticks because I need to make an iron pick. 
And let's put that there, put that there, up and down. And then a single redstone. Yeah, boom, mining well. And then just a tank. Put the tank above it, and boom, pump. There we go, that's two out of the half a million things I need to do. Amongst enabling my oops, mini map again. Sure. So, is a small issue, of course, with the power to the pump. And since I have a lot of time on my hands, and I kind of want to do this on the cheap because I can, I'm going to be making some redstone torches. I think I'll need two for this. I'm going to make three just to be sure. And for power to the pump itself, I'm going to be using redstone engines because they work just fine as soon as they've been pumped up. So I need some pistons, corks, glass and more wood. Which means I need more iron. I'm just going to use another block because we've got plenty of this stuff. And I need... Uh, what did I need? How the hell can I forget so quickly? I need the two corks, that's for sure. And considering how many I want to make of these, I should make some more sticks. I'm going to make three. Seems like a good number. There we go, it's dumb. There we go. Three, but since it is two, I need her. Why did I... There we go. Yes, yes, yes. But I still need two more. I'm gonna make three, just to be sure. You never know how many you're gonna need of these. Might even need them later. Now a piston. Piston is a bit simple to make. I'm gonna be needing three of these, aren't I? Those are placed correctly, I hope. And this and this and whoop, whoop. This is an old recipe. There we go. Really easy to remember too. And I need some more wood. I believe I have tons in here. I do, but I need to break it down. There we go. And then one and two and three. There we go, I got power for my pump. And some stone gears for no reason at all. Cool. There we go. Alright. Next. Next I will need some fluid pipes. They are down here. I don't really need a wooden one because I don't need to pump anything out of anything. It does that automatically. So I just need some transport pipes, which I believe is glass and stone. <laughs> Never changed that, apparently. And pipe sealant. Beeswax. No, thank you. Cactus green. Dyes. No, thank you. I believe I can make this one cactus from just, just smelting them. Just to tell me, but oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, so I just need to go out to my cactus farm, which is over behind here. Yep. Ouch! I only took off half my health did it. Ah, hello, berries. Wait. Okay, access work on these. Good job. Since my ex is freaking buffed up, one shot. Ouch! Ow! Ow! I've got armor on. How the hell can this happen? Ow! Stop! Stop! Fuck's sake! I don't even understand how that works. I got freaking arm. Oh yeah, right. Never mind. So, got my cactus. Now I just need to smolt. So I'll be right back once that is done. All right. Now that's done. Okay. So. Now we have almost all we need to make this happen. The last thing we need is a way of transporting from here to there, which I would use a ender chest for normally, but since I don't have my uh, third ender chest yet, and no method of making it, I will be doing that myself, which is a bit annoying. But luckily I think, think they stack the tanks when they're full. At least if they fall to the same amount, which will, which they hopefully will be. Here we are, and I seem to have missed quite a few building materials, but I don't think I'm gonna need them anyway. So what I want to do is quite simple. I need the pump to be above the source of the oil, which is down 
here and can't really see it, but if I can just get it to glitch out a bit. You can barely see it down there, but there is a uh, hole I built up with structure of dirt and wood down there. So I can only get the oil. It should work just fine. Hopefully. But I'm going to be doing this to the best of my knowledge correctly. But who knows, it's Minecraft, something could go wrong, the server could crash over, well. so many things. But let's just get this up and running and hope for the best. So, let's just take a look, it's right here. Nope. Too loud, rain, too loud. Just leave this in here. Fluid tanks are inside, for convenience. And then, away with you. I forgot redstone torches, but luckily I got sticks and... Damn, well I'm gonna be needing this then. Go! So I can make levers instead. I thought I forgot something and I was right. Oh well. Now I'm done. And put this there, and put this there, and... Click. And click. There we go. This will of course take quite a while, but... Nonetheless, it works. Okay, so we almost got the entire thing. And um, by thing, of course, I mean the oil pumped up. But I know for a fact, because I went and checked, there's a lot still down there. So even though I went back and got this bucket and another 10 of these tanks, I will need to start pumping out the oil from the tanks, especially if you want to pump out that area over there too. In fact, I would have loved if I had some kind of teleporting method of teleporting the fluid verse... Uh, no, not verse, via the... Um, I should put the pipes like you can in... I think the thermal expansion. But of course I haven't built anything for that just yet, so for now I'm just gonna have to make my way back. Which I don't know where it is. It's gonna be this way. And then I'm gonna... Go and set up the. What did I put it? How did I put it? Pump station. I think is a good way of putting it. So I can pump the oil out of these tanks and back into the big tank I built back at the farm. So, see ya. Right. So I set up this uh, bit pump. Just got one for now, so it's not really that big of a deal. But look at this. Pumping in the oil to the tank going it's going well however I will need some more of course uh, more pumps or just some way of automating this because I have to keep an eye on this obviously but I think the best thing I can do is stay around here wait for the pump on, at the oil to finish up and then I can just be done with it in a few minutes I found cactus, I found a desert, I found tons of mobs, which can just bugger off. But what the fuck is going on here? First off, the world generation. What the hell? Why is it... Oh, it's... Oh, okay, it's unloaded. That explains. But still... What the fuck? What's this? Saint. In this weird fucking block. The same up here. Just this one square of taint makes zero bloody sense. I'm a bit curious. What? Spawners? What the f- What the- Monking. Hmm. Hit him for 52? Get wrecked, son. Yeah, I can fly. See ya. I need my potatoes, I'm getting a bit... Who's throwing leaves? <laughs> Interesting. There we go. This is so weird. Heating rather slowly too. Hello monkey. Can't hit you? Oh, there we go. Did I just hit him for 520 by hitting him in the ass? You got mad. What the fuck? He does it quite hard though. 
but considering I can fly and heal out of range, it's fucked. 88, so I just need to hit him once. Do I have a bow? I do. So I'll just do this. And. Pew pew! Pew pew! What the f. Okay. I missed him now. What? Who am I missing? There we go. What the fuck? Dropped a bunch of stuff, evidently. Let me just get the frick out of here. Oak leaves. He was throwing oak leaves at me. What in? What's this? Arcane Essence. Arcane Essence? That must have been from the uh, elemental that I slew earlier. Diamonds, nice. And a monking sword. Less speed, more damage. Wow, that explains a lot, actually. That explains the spawn cages, too. Hello, just a job. Two. Did it explode, too? <laughs> a damage difference. Oh, well, I better get back to my uh, oil. Okay, so we are almost done here. First put on this, and then this, and then that. That, and that, and go, and that's going, and then put this there, and that there, and there we go. Over time, of course, this will be done. You can leave it, come back, or you can stay and watch it, whichever you choose. This is quite good, in my opinion, and it is a um, quite easy way of doing it, too. All you need to consider is, of course, the big tank I'm using, which I can just find quickly. By uh, dynamic, or rather mechanism, dynamic, do there, do do the dynamic tank. Let's try that instead. Is in itself quite easy to make. Just some steel and copper stone. Same goes with the glass. Just glass, of course, instead of copper stone. But the most annoying thing to make here is a dynamic valve. And I'm gonna go into how to make this tank in the next video. But for now, you can use smaller tanks and I'll see you at the creation of this big tank. See ya later. Bye!